Hi everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Read and Find Out. Today I'm going to be doing a book review for you and that's going to be for Landscape with Invisible Hand by M.T. Anderson. I received a finished copy of this little novella from Candlewick Press in exchange for an honest review. And before I actually start the review, which I'm going to try to keep short, like this book, can we just appreciate the presentation? I love this cover a lot. The book itself is pink with blue script and it has yellow end pages. So I just really like this book's presentation. I mean, I also like what's inside, but the presentation's spot on. So Landscape with Invisible Hand is a YA dystopian science fiction that is satire. It has a lot to do with art and alien invasion. In this novella, the Vuv, which is an alien species, have taken over Earth but they appreciate earth culture or classic earth culture so they're constantly trying to like cultivate it in their interactions with people. Through this story we're following Adam who is a teen artist, he does paintings and everything and still lifes and he ends up being entered into an art contest for the Vuv, though he doesn't do conventional earth art culture stuff, which to them is paintings of fruit. He does more of landscapes and portraits and things like that. With the Vuv having invaded the earth, they've brought an advanced technology, which the humans gladly accepted, but also it caused a bit of an economic crisis because now there are virtually no jobs. So people who previously had skilled positions are fighting for positions at the grocery store now because the technology has rendered their jobs useless. And a lot of this story is examining what they're willing to do to live and how far they're willing to take this. So as I typically do with reviews, I'll talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, and then tell you my star rating. This book is full of wit and humor that sometimes I liked and sometimes I didn't, but ultimately I kind of enjoyed the tone of the story, even though it was kind of depressing, the humor that was being used in this dystopian. <laughs> the exploration of what people were willing to do to survive was also interesting, with the Vuv being interested in human behavior and the classic human lifestyle. They have a specific interest in love and romantic love because that's not something that the love experience and so they like to watch humans who act like they're in love and do all of these cringy things from like the 50s. So married and dating couples can sign up to be filmed for the Vuv's entertainment and it like sells, it gets them money. So that was interesting, like the giving up of a lot of privacy and even faking things to some extent to try to get some money to provide for your family. So that was something interesting and I liked the aliens or the Vuv. Not that I liked them Personally, I just thought they were an interesting concept. I mentioned that Adam, the protagonist, is an artist, and every chapter is split and titled by a piece of art that he did. Like there's a small town under the stars, or a food cart in front of a strip mall, a line of customers. So the chapter is titled after something that Adam depicts in his art, but also is telling why he made that piece of art. And then I mentioned the humor. This book is hopeful in a way, in its ending, but at the same time, it's very bleak, which I kind of enjoyed, but also kind of didn't enjoy. <laughs> there were a couple of things that I didn't really like. For example, I was not emotionally invested in this at all. I was intellectually invested because I found the concepts interesting, but I didn't care about the characters. There was no emotional piece for me. And I don't think it's entirely due to the length because I've read short stories and novellas that I have become invested in with my feelings. I think this was just meant to be more intellectual and to be something that is dissected. And along with not feeling emotionally invested, I, did, I didn't like the family. <laughs> Adam's family sucked in my opinion which I understand it was like hard stressful times and they were doing what they needed to to get along and to survive but I didn't like the family relationships at all which I won't say too much more about just because this is so short I feel like it could be easily spoiled and I don't want to do that so this is a spoiler free review and those things though they weren't huge did take away from how much I ended up liking the book and I gave it 3.5 stars so I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite. I would say that you would probably enjoy Landscape with Invisible Hand if you like satire and humor and very sharp wit. And also if you're interested in exploring a kind of economic dystopian, which I didn't totally realize is what this was going to be. Comment down below and let me know if you have read this book or if you're interested in reading it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. And until next time, bye.